welcome to this video lecture on bama's karakku the explanations of the chapter 4 part 1 this video is part of the discussion of compulsory foundation course in english the fourth semester bca and bsc english language course at mangalore university this video is the continuation of my videos made on the autobiographical novel karakku written by bama and in this video we are going to discuss chapter 4 of the novel welcome to this video so in this chapter in this part of the video we are going to see how the memories from the childhood that bama is going to recollect through this chapter so in her memory of the past she recounts how her people the people belong to her community the parayars were hard working people and she also gives the description to support this how her grandmother what she calls as patti in tamilu tamil so uh, her hard working as a support to show us how they were hard working people and also we come to know about bama's own life where uh, she worked hard for the family along with studying at the school yeah let's go ahead so when we come to the concept of the hard working people here bama try is trying to project the her community the people belong to uh, the parayar community as the hard working people and tries to uh, or attempts to build a kind of dalit identity through this work she says her people survived only through hard work and incessant labor there was no other option for them they were not born with land they were not born with riches right so they usually did two kind of works either agriculture labor or it was construction labor that she mentions in uh, uh, in the novel so both both are supportive work to the uh, you know well being of society you can see how in an agrarian society both agriculture labor and other allied labor like construction labor are important so she initially takes up the discussion of how people engage themselves in agriculture labor she mentions they went up to the hills to gather firewood and they used to work even in the palm leaves at the kilns marking sorry making bricks or other some of the works they followed along with the agriculture work of you know planting or even cropping all those things they 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 did all these other works and uh, uh, we come to know about the we came to know about the structure of the society already that the land in that part of uh, village were uh, in the hands of the naikar community and the parayars and the pallas who were attached to the naikar families as the bonded laborers what we say in tamil as panayal so they were the bonded laborers because their forefathers or somebody borrowed the uh, money from them and uh, you know from the naikar families and these generations have to uh, work for them uh, in order to repay the debt that's why they became bonded laborers uh, because of uh, of course uh, due to the poverty they faced once then you also see that uh, uh, the society shows a kind of extremities here on the one hand we have these uh, the parayars and other the pallas they were work hard working people who contributed to the agricultural product by working in the fields and the other hand we had the land owners and landlords who uh, needn't work hard right they had their lands for profit and they had their own uh, business some even uh, as we have already mentioned some cash ran uh, some business like small shops and all that they earned money out of that they didn't work hard like the way the people belong to bamas community worked hard then Uh, we also have other uh, communities like other caste peoples like the koravars or gypsies they were known as uh, no gypsies and we had uh, leather working uh, chakili or uh, and they would uh, sweep the streets and uh, dredges and clean the drains for their living and uh, we also have uh, 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 the other work of them that is weaving uh, winnowing trays they needed winnowing trays mora anta heltare right winnowing trays to separate the husk from the grain or even if there is any dirt in the grain if say for example in rice that is separated by uh, winnowing trays and boxes 
uh, baskets all these are uh, prepared by them and uh, they even uh, uh, went for uh, you know prepared the baskets for chicken coops and uh, for you know storing paddy like that they earn money by all these you can also see slightly that the different skills that uh, bama's community people possessed in a way bama is trying to project uh, uh, that important aspect that they are skillful and they were hard working people lived in that village uh, anyhow then uh, we we will see one particular example to support this that example is of bama's party or her grandmother her grandmother was a true laborer and she was a proper servant right she believed in that uh, um, honest work that she used to uh, do to the naikar family so she was also a kotal that means who hired uh, laborers kotal is a person who hired laborers for them to the naikar families and she she supervised them also she also supervised those uh, workers whom she used to hire for uh, the naikar's lands Kotal is someone who is a leader, uh, a, a person who takes up the task of hiring laborers and uh, you know carrying on the work of uh, uh, agriculture lands. Then uh, she worked every day, even on Sundays. You can see without rest uh, at the Nikers, uh, uh, you know, houses. Uh, even if uh, yeah, when the Nikers insisted them, she was ready to work even on Sundays. That's mentioned by Bama here. and uh, her lifestyle you can see here that she used to rise before cock crow at 2 or 3 think of it right at 2 or 3 in the early morning and she used to draw water from the well and then uh, she had to see her household chores right she has to complete her household chores and after completing that she has to walk a long distance to reach those naikar's houses and then uh, naikar's house at right, the where she worked and she had to work till sun sunset and then again she returned home in dark and cook a little gruel what do you observe dear students here the way uh, the description of her party her grandmother can give us the important role prominent role played by women in their community right the way they were hard workers on the one hand on the other hand the role that women played in their community that is also evident through bama's words and then bama was a bit older she used to take her uh, to the fields yeah uh, her party grandmother used to take bama to her fields when she was little uh, you know child due to lack of comfort at home bama used to work uh, you know collecting uh, thorns for fences or uh, pomira uh, leaves coconut palm stems and uh, um, and also firewood for fuel and all that right she also Uh, collected fresh cow dung and pat it into flat cakes for uh, uh, you know firewood purpose they would they used it for fire right that is the other work she did um, then we also see bama uh, as a child along with working at the you know, along with studying at the school she was already a responsible child at home carrying some household work you can see that here that during the school day she would go to she go with, go with the party to work in the fields and uh, to pull up the groundnut crops there was groundnut part she she would go to the fields to um, pull up that groundnut uh, uh, crop and uh, to clean the pots also she also carrying some she carried some they they both of them right they carried some millet porridge and uh, they step out to work early in the morning and the work till sunset with some respite in the middle you can observe very clearly bama's descriptions project her how hard workers uh, uh, you know they how uh, their community people were hard workers uh, what was the routine right we are introduced to their routine the tough routine uh, hard working routine that is rarely seen among many right then there is no you know scope for uh, you know being lazy in their uh, situation if they do so what happens and there wouldn't be anything to eat right that's a condition then uh, they had to work like these to earn their bread and all that is the thing okay then you can also see at the field what they do they would separate and clean the pots and then they carry to the naikar's granaries and the naikar's panayal someone who looks after all these panayal would uh, measure it by marakkal yeah look at the words uh, like panayal marakkal and we also have kotal kotal right so all these words are tamil words there is no alternative use that the translator can find 
uh, in a suitable alternative they were they are used as it is now you can see here therefore uh, panayal would measure it the groundnut they they collected and they would buy they would pay 5 or 10 paise for each marakal right marakal is a quantity right a kind of vessel small one which in which you can measure it i think kannada dali seru antare right ondu seru eradu seru saru alla seru so they they measure it right hage illi kuda nu nodabodu however hard we pushed ourselves it never came to more than 5 rupees in all see the sentence in page number 50 she mentions however hard we pushed ourselves they had to push themselves to work work hard to earn more but even though they worked hard it never came to more than 5 rupees in all 5 rupees anna yavattu mudta irilla annu maatrana avaru heltare taking the money they would return at dusk the dusk means dusk is the uh, twilight hour in the evening right sandhya kala sanjaya sandhya kala vena dusk antivi d a w n dawn is early morning and they would buy some uh, you know rice to cook some gruel right they have to you know finally earning is to uh, win the bread you know find the food right so they cooked some gruel at the end that is the next then uh, we also see here bama's contribution is also there in other works like uh, she would go to glean the groundnut left over after the cropping once the cropping completes the works of gleaning over you know glean the groundnut left over in the sense searching the uh, you know groundnut left after the cropping the nikers being not happy about it they were not happy about it they would chase them throwing stones and pieces of wood and drive them away see the way bama recounts harsh and bitter experiences of the past and she says the the human humanity uh, 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 the absence of humanity in such incidences throwing stones at the you know people who came to find some food there that is to leftover crop right that is not the main crop there and uh, pieces of wood at them and driving them home some nikers allowed them but there are some nikers who allowed them to glean and collect the groundnut and strip the fields demanding half or a third of the uh, uh, of the found groundnuts they allowed them but demanding half or a third of the found groundnuts and half ardano athava adralu ondashtanna paal anna avaru kelkondu avakashavanna kodta idru annadannu kuda heltare even if they didn't find anything the nikers would let them go home only after receiving the share in the evening right that that is a stringent condition difficult life right they had to find something they had to give that as a as if a rent paid to the owner right a tenant paying the rent to the owner similarly they had to do it right then so likewise you see um, the, the, it would take a uh, 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 lot of time for them to uh, therefore to collect that therefore you, they used to return probably in the nights so then they would take the left ground out to the chakadi the bazaar the tamil word it seems that uh, is equivalent to the hindi word the bazaar uh, then they would take it to that that store and they sell it to a tradesman there to buy rice or broken grain to cook some gruel and here uh, the difficulty of eating the broken gruel grain gruel broken grain gruel you can see nuchu anta heltare kannadadalli akkiya choor galu right adanna ittkondu adrinda avaru maartantaddu adu kadime belayalli sigta ittu so she narrates that in uh, i think i would read out that uh, particular passage she says here in uh, page number 50 that uh, you couldn't put the broken uh, grain gruel in your mouth uh it stank so much but if we had no money broken grain gruel was all we could eat because they had got money sometimes i sold my groundnuts and bought the money home to my mother sometimes i just gave her the groundnuts so these are the way she is trying to narrate the situation how difficult even to um, find their bread daily anadu right ah dina in dina da ಆಹಾರಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಬದುಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋರಾಟ ಇದ್ದದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತಹ ಕಷ್ಟದ ದಿನಗಳನ್ನು ತನ್ನ ದಿನಗಳನ್ನು ಬಾಮ ಅವರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆನಪು ಮಾಡ್ಕೋತಾರೆ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಬಾಮಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಶಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ನಾಯ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಡೇ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಟು ಶೆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ನೆಟ್ಸ್ that is the next work they used to undertake shelling the ground net separating the you know the peel of you know the surrounding of uh, uh, you know ground net 
so shelling it the shell so separating the nut from uh, that uh, uh, ground nut so get them and measure it in uh, again maracal they used to measure it in maracal the quantity they used to do and work in the cattle shed too and taking up the uh, ground nuts in hands and uh, break the shells by smashing them against the floor or by teeth there were two possibilities so they have to smash the ground nut to the ground or even to shell it you know separate it by teeth but by using teeth there was some problem she mentions here they would get dust in the mouth and their throat would choke no one bothered about it but they had to work hard see very interesting observation she is going to give here look at the next uh, uh, sentence that she mentions in the novel be careful not to crack the nuts themselves if many nuts were broken if they chart, charted in between shelling or ate one or two of the nuts the nikers would be furious and swear at them right they would uh, you know put heap of abuses on them they were paid 5 or 10 paisa for marakkal see here you can see by by you know separating them using teeth they get some diseases right they would get uh, dust in the mouth and they would uh, their throat would uh, choke and they get hurt by that and no one bothered about that but if while doing that work if the ground nuts that they were doing you know separating got damaged they were punished they were abused for that where is then the justice for them that's the question she is putting forward right so and finally uh, she mentions the way even after the work they were received they were receiving only 5 or 10 paisa per marakkal and uh, finally uh, collecting all the money they would make uh, uh, totally together they would get about 6 rupees at the very most maximum right and did uh, uh, not make much money out of that that is what she is trying to say however hard they worked whatever the season it is they always engaged in work but they were able to earn only a very minimum amount and all right thus bama in this part of the uh, chapter uh, describes her childhood and particularly focusing on how her childhood memories can prove that the people belong to her community uh, the dalits in that particular village were hard workers um, by as i already told you the Uh, by giving this micro level of observations she's trying to project that macro level of you know message that it is applicable to all the hard workers who work like that across the country that uh, i think we can infer from her narration she also reveals that the knowledge of agriculture she had because in her descriptions of that work in the farm you know in the while shelling the grain ground nut for example or even collecting the ground nut so all these show uh, the uh, ability of the people of her community or the dalits in india to perform hard work as well as uh, you know that knowledge that they possessed in farm work or agriculture work and how they are integral part of agrarian society to run that primary sector of the country is again explored here and is this part of the chapter also exposes how upper caste nikers had ill treatment uh, towards the um, bamas community people the dalits in this context uh, they ill treated them uh, even punished for them for some mistakes that happened so i think we can see the way they abused them if they had caused any spoiling of uh, that ground nut so thus uh, uh, we in total we are provided that how uh, bamas Uh, community people or the dalits are integral part of the whole agrarian uh, setup of our country but they still cannot uh, uh, enjoy a due reward for that that is she is trying to project at the end anyhow with that i am going to conclude this part of the video and uh, we will see the next part with the further discussion of the chapter 4 thank you for watching see you